<laughs> All right, welcome back. Uh, I am excited to introduce uh, our local planning partner, the person who is responsible for proposing this conference uh, now some time ago uh, and has worked with us this entire time um, to put on this entire thing. Um, and now to actually hear a little bit about the work he's doing instead of just the awesome logistical help that he's uh, provided. So um, please welcome Reno Ferrante, who will uh, introduce uh, some of the other panelists here to talk about um, uh, Italian Voices on AAA, of current results and further considerations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Josh, Josh for uh, introducing. Uh, Good morning, I'm uh, Rino Ferrante, professor of Italian philology at uh, Naples University, uh, and I'm glad to introduce this panel uh, showing a stru structured collaboration between three institu institutions using the tri IIIF environment on the manuscript field, uh, which are Naples University uh, Central Institute for Unique Cataloging and Vatican Library. As for my part, I will present the ongoing project of the hosting university, the Illuminated Dante Project, IDP, and its forthcoming development, the Naples Dante Project, NDP. The IDP, uh, launched in 2016, aims to provide access to an exploration of illuminated manuscripts of the, book of the Commedia, Dante's Commedia. It focuses on creating high-resolution digital reproductions and updated catalog records of these manuscripts. <clears throat> to achieve this goal, IDP developed an online platform hosted on the servers of Federico II University, uh, and the catalog records are encoded using uh, XML TEI, while the images are displayed using the manifest JSON within the International Image Inter Interoperability Framework. Collaboration with the Central Institute for the um, uh, Unique Cataloging of Italian Libraries has allowed IDP to share metada metadata with its online manuscript catalog, Manus Online, called Manus Online. Additionally, IDP has created a database for a iconographic description, including searchable classes such as stylistic attribution, decorative type, execution technique and iconography. In iconography. The latter class uh, is divided into um, two levels, image text and indexing. The image text level focuses on classifying the relationships between each image and the poem's text, cantica, canto, terset, paratext, heading, glosses, uh, commentary, internal context, topography of the afterlife, and external context, a connection with Dante, non-Dante iconographic tradition. It also displays the narrativity level of each illustration. Um, an iconographical subject is divided uh, within three layers, subject, hypersubject, and keywords. On the front-end side, uh, the IDP interface allows users to query the corpus of illuminated manuscripts for different, uh, from different angles. The catalog can be accessed in alphabetical order by cities, providing a brief presentation, a detailed codicological description, and a specific section devoted to decoration. Uh, this is the detailed external description of uh, uh, one of the items displayed on the, on the website. Uh, and this is the, intern the internal description of the, of the manuscript. Um, the map view offers a geographical perspective enabling, enabling users to explore the distribution of the manuscript tradition of the Commedia. Apart from public sharing of digital resources, IDP focuses on scientific communication because we are researcher, academic researchers. Um, and uh, high-resolution um, high images, images and the ability to compare resource, resources through Mirador have facilitated, facilitated discoveries in various uh, fields of study. The results of this integrated and multidisciplinary approach have been communicated through uh, peer-reviewed journals and more recently to a dedicated conference. Building on these achievements, IDP has launched spin-off projects such as the FRAC, 
um, Fragments of Commedia project and the illustrated Dante project. FRAC, in collaboration with the Swiss-based Fragmentarium, aims to catalog fragmented items of the Commedia up to the 15th century and put online their digital copies and metadata. On the other hand, Illustrated Dante a project includes in its research early printed books and in series drawings. The corpus consists of uh, 18 illustrated printed editions and a list of drawings such as Botticelli, the anonymous at Pierpont Morgan Library, Johannes von St uh, Straten, Jacopo Ligozzi, Ludovico Cigoli, and Federico Zuccari, among, among the others. This new perspectives as have paved the way for the Naples Dante project. <clears throat> the existing corpora of IDP and FRAC will be supplemented uh, by the rest of the manuscript tradition to form Ecomedia, completing the digital survey of Dante manuscripts. Two additional components of the NDP network will focus on Dante's Commedia. Dante Critical Texts, a comparative tool for modern critical editions of the Divine Comedy, and Commenti Danteschi, Coda, a database for the earliest exegesis of the Divine Comedy in vernacular and Latin, linking to co corresponding digitized witnesses. The uh, uh, extension of the Illuminated Dante Project to the Illustrated Dante Project will result in the most comprehensive catalog of illustrated manuscripts, printed book, and drawings related to the Divine Comedy from the 14th to the 16th century. The ambitious project aims to estab establish the largest digital portal dedicated to the manuscript and printed traditional Dante com Dante's Commedia, equipped with <coughs> AAAF compliant image archives records and tools for digital textual scholarship and for automatic recognition of illumination and engraving. <coughs> it aims to fill <coughs> it aims to fill the bridge. Uh, uh, to, to, to fill the bridge uh, between, um, uh, 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 I'm sorry, it aims to bridge uh, e existing online projects on Dante and possibly link its data to them. To achieve this, we need to reconsider the overall data arch architecture and adopt more abstract and load compliant models for the three main entities, entities of, the, of NDP, book, manuscripts and printed books, image, miniatures, woodcuts, and drawings, and text, textual variants, comparison of critical edition, philological apparatuses. For this purpose, purpose, we have decided to use Cadmus, an editing framework developed by uh, Daniele Fusi and Venice University, which has been introduced at the, at the showcase. <coughs> Cadmus handles various types of data by focusing on logical models, considers models as dynamic and continuously evolving over time, integrates editing functionalities in a single backend environment, including a central database, graphical interface, simultaneous editing, real-time validation, and search. T the key to data modeling in Cadmus is modularity, allowing for the, record, for the recording of data sets into standard output formats, IIIF, TI, RDF, envisioned by projects like uh, NDP. The CADMUS framework proposes, proposes interesting solutions for the three fundamental axes of that data editing in NDP, book, image, and text, in terms of classification and annotation. For manuscript description, NDP will adopt codicology, which is sufficiently abstract to suit any type of medieval manuscript. Its high granularity allows for the isolation of numerous codicological features to index, aggregate, and process a significant amount of da data. When it comes to Dante, uh, this is a, 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 an overview of the model of codicology, codicology model on CADMUS, within CADMUS. <coughs> Um, when it comes to Dante iconography, NDP will add, um, co codicology will likely require further refinement of the basic model, integrated the classification le level mentioned above, image text relationship iconographic indexing. This development, development will also be applicable to other forms of the entity, book, such as illustrated printed books and serious drawing. Uh, it will facilitate easier connections with iconographic databases like IconClass, or, uh, already conceived in, in the load environment. 
NDP must address the complexity and stratification of analysis levels on complex media like medieval manuscripts. Uh, let's take, for example, the opening verses of the Divine Comedy from one of the already digitized items available on the uh, Dante portal uh, of, of Federico II. Um, in just th uh, these first three verses, we find a series of significant elements that operate at different levels of analysis, paleographic, scriptio continua, uh, abbreviation of per, um, linguistic, the use of cice di yata for the vo voiceless palatal af affricate sound, orthographic, uh, variability in doubling the consonants, philological, scura, the, the variant scura uh, instead of oscura. Furthermore, uh, the manuscript's folio shows additional metatextual elements such as the illuminate initial N in which Dante's figure as an, an author is writing at a desk. The interlinear gloss um, idest uh, uh, 35, uh, 35 annis on Nostra Vita and idest peccatorum on Silva Oscura which contribute to enriching the sense of the textual message with polysemic levels of verbal and iconic interpretation. The same applies to the annotation of illustration. Let's take for example the miniature on the folio 60 verso from the same manuscript associated with the corresponding decoration data on, uh, on the portal. We are the here are the relevant details. In this case as well, the presence of multiple levels of analysis, both stylistic and iconographic, can be managed through the image annotation system using a modular stratification. This approach allows for better indexing and lays the groundwork for semantic connections between non-hierarchical levels. The process of double level metadata annotation, text and image, that NDP will, under NDP will undertake cannot be carried out by um, human resources alone due to the significant amount of items, items involved. Approximately 1,000 manuscripts, 50 printed copies, and four, 400 loose drawings are planned to be digitized and classified. For textual annotation, artificial intelligence based on artificial neural, neural um, networks will be employed to create layers consisting of the mere transcription of Dante's poem. NDP has got a partnership with C CNR ELC for training and written text recognition models. The Computational Philology Group of CNR will handle the installation of Iscriptorium platform, an open source web environment based on the Kraken HTR engine. To improve accuracy, the renowned HTR system, Transcribus, will be used to expand the training sets provided to Iscriptorium. The transcription layer produced by HTI will undergo an automated collation process. Applications like Colatex will be configure, configured to align and group all the textual witnesses. Tools with co-clustering functionality will be adopted to group similar texts based on specific linguistic semantic features within Dante's manuscript. As for classifying illustration, in particularly illumination, NDP will leverage the latest advancement in neural networks for automatic recognition of artwork. The collaboration with the Vatican Library will uh, evaluate the using of miniature recognition tools based on stylistic futures. Proven historical mini miniature experts who have previously collaborated with the research group will properly segment the images. Project focusing on saliency-based uh, algorithms and semantic aspects of image, images have developed uh, increasingly precise image classification methods. Finally, uh, an additional collaboration had, has been established with uh, uh, KU Leuven to apply selective and relatable imaging techniques to the um, NDP um, corpus. In 2019, the former IDP research group invited Liv Vateuve and Hendrik Ameuve, uh, who you uh, saw uh, yesterday in a panel, in a, the RTI panel, 
uh, enables to explore the potential of a tool like the multispectral microdome on a selected group of illuminated manuscripts held at Girolamini Library. The investigation, uh, uh, which some, some, uh, some, of, some of you already uh, visited uh, last, last days, uh, the investigation yielded promising results and brought a partnership to a further step, which is to conduct a more comprehensive study of Dante's illuminated manuscripts in Italy and around the world, employing <coughs> multi-light reflectance techniques, including multispectral Im imaging in both broad and narrow bands. That is why our research group has joined a broader international group represented in this conference, where they delivered yesterday a dedicated presentation. The objective of this collaboration is to propose the opportunity for the IIIF community to work on implementing the image API and presentation API with such special formats and dynamic viewing. In conclusion, <clears throat> the Naples Dante uh, project is an ambitious research and valorization initiative, mainly focused on the divine comedy, a masterpiece of Western culture and its early tradition. This project is adopting an integrated and multidisciplinary approach, blending expertise in the humanities with the state-of-the-art computational techniques. Its primary objective is to establish a virtuous system that combines a rigorous scientific research with current information about complex and delicate heritage medieval manuscripts. This heritage very often holds hidden insights that can shed light on important aspects of our cultures. The project strives to find them out and to make this knowledge accessible to a broader audience. audience. Thank you. So now uh, I, I, I introduce Paola Manoni uh, of Vatican Library for the next uh, presentation of the panel. so much Rino. Yes, I'm the second Italian voice of this panel. And uh, I would like to tell you about the proof of concept of the Vatican Library aimed at assessing the potential of an artificial neural network for the detection of objects as iconographic contents in illuminated manuscripts and the classification of the object detected. There are many questions uh, underlying uh, this theme. Uh, above all, we consider our proof of concept useful for answering perhaps basic questions, such as uh, the first one, uh, uh, if uh, the art an artificial neural network itself could be a useful tool for the recognition of uh, iconographic contents in our manuscript collection. And, uh, the segmentation uh, uh, we have provided, uh, the method, I mean, uh, if it's uh, good enough for recognizing uh, the contents, uh, I mean, the iconographic details within uh, illuminations and decorations. And uh, a very uh, important question is about uh, the availability of data set, I mean, a corpus uh, with uh, a classified object uh, so the question is uh, if uh, the data set, uh, particularly the data set uh, available in pre-trained neural network uh, could be useful and consistent with the semantic contents of the illumination in the middle age environment uh, of our uh, treasures, of our witnesses. And last but not least, uh, how to transform, so the, the fourth uh, question in our POC, how to transform neural network results into triple IF annotations. Before talking about the different step of our steps of our proof of concept, uh, let me focus a few minutes uh, about uh, our context. Uh, I mean uh, the state of the art of the digitization project of the manuscript collection so far. Uh, we have implemented our digital library platform, which is called the DDL, 
It was launched in 2015, and it contains uh, um, uh, over 25,000 digitized manuscripts. Uh, I mean, uh, over 9 million images. Uh, and uh, uh, scholars can find IIIF manifests in the DBR for each disseminated digital object, along with all the metadata coming from uh, the TI metadata um, uh, descriptions uh, uh, available in our OPAC, of course. But uh, there is another digital library service uh, which is called Thematic Pathways on the Web, and it is the result of a three-year project uh, in partnership uh, with uh, Stanford University Libraries during the years 2016-2019. The Vatican Library at that time received uh, a grant from the Mellon Foundation for implementing a web platform aimed at demonstrating the importance of the annotation level in the study of manuscripts using IIIF technology. And I am mentioning mm, uh, today this platform because it plays an important role in our proof of concept I will explain later. The web platform was implemented uh, using uh, uh, the best of the Stanford technology, I think, I mean, uh, using Spotlight, which is uh, an open source software, of course, uh, but uh, implemented uh, uh, for us uh, by um, the Stanford team. It is a Ruby on Rail engine for easily building feature-rich websites that showcase collections and objects from a digital repository. Spotlight was implemented for providing exhibit showcasing annotations and digital contents based on selection of manuscripts. As I mentioned in the previous slide, curators and editors of this project provided over 26,000 annotations. Broadly speaking, these are uh, divided into four main categories, transcriptions, codicological notes, iconographic notes, generic notes intended as notes different from the other previous categories. And we mark this annotation uh, uh, by using different color. The annotation flow in this project uh, is essentially based uh, on uh, a component uh, which is called Annotot. Annotot uh, is a, a Ruby on Rails gem for adding IIIF annotation to Rails project. Uh, and this component, uh, um, implemented again uh, from the Stanford team, allows Mirador to read and write directly to Spotlight, allowing Spotlight to be aware of all additions and added to the project annotations. These annotations are then added to the Spotlight Solar Engine. And again, I'm focusing on this because uh, we will see later the behavior of this uh, flow um, uh, for the um, contents coming from the network. And now, focusing now on the proof of, on the proof of concept, uh, I would like uh, to mention the tools we have used. So YOLO <coughs> uh, is uh, the method we have adopted to, to do digital, uh, to, do, to do the object detection. It is the algorithm behind how the code is going to detect objects in the image. It is a Python dependency using PyTorch, which is a machine learning framework based on the Torch library. We have used YOLO V5, which is uh, one, this is not the last, but it, the, which is one of the richest pre-trained network using COCO, the dataset COCO, uh, which is a large scale dataset of images. So these are the tools and a uh, few words about people involved in this POC. Uh, the coordination, the staff uh, of the coordination of IT services, uh, but also uh, uh, graduates uh, from the physics department of uh, University of Tor Vergata, helping us uh, in uh, uh, the segmentation procedure we, ha uh, we used to perform before the pre-training um, pre of uh, um, uh, the network, uh, as well as uh, um, uh, an intern uh, um, um, from uh, the Master Technologie Numérique Appliquée à l'Histoire uh, de l'École Nationale des Chartes. We have uh, a current internship and uh, 
uh, a student uh, helping us uh, in, uh, in studying at first uh, our uh, different uh, phases uh, um, um, of the proof of consent and uh, helping us uh, in the detection of the segmented images. I mean in the detection, in checking biases. Phase one uh, of this proof of consent, uh, we uh, have um, selected uh, uh, roughly uh, 1,900,000 images coming from uh, over 5,000 manuscripts uh, chosen uh, uh, because of their metadata and taken from different collections. Um, and uh, uh, in, in phase one, as I said, uh, we have uh, the segmentation of these images uh, and the free trained the YOLO V5 uh, with the adoption of the Coto classes. Uh, uh, and uh, in order to get uh, uh, a first group uh, of uh, segmented and tagged objects, uh, I mean uh, uh, roughly uh, 55,000 segmented objects, uh, of course, with biases. And let's focus uh, for, uh, for uh, with few example on uh, biases uh, due to the classes, uh, due to the consistency of classes, because I said that we do not have yet uh, a corpus with classified images pertaining uh, illuminations, medieval illuminations. So, few example about these classes. I have uh, chosen for you the pizza, the frisbee, the bird, the boat, the cell phone. Let's see the interpretation of uh, frisbees <laughs> in, our, in our domain. So frisbees are uh, uh, stamps, uh, hole, circle hole, hole in, uh, in parchment, uh, but also, I can say in English, Orioles, is it? The Orioles, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> At, but also I love a lot of pizzas. So the pizzas uh, in our manuscript, <laughs> And uh, another uh, um, uh, pretty example is uh, the, cl the cell phone class, <laughs> <laughs> which is terrible. And uh, this example can lead uh, us uh, to further consideration about our ha habits, I think, because uh, uh, mm, for the network, uh, a rectangle in a hand is a cell phone, so it's uh, the reflection of our habits, while a rectangle at that time in a hand is for sure a book. <laughs> so, again, I think it's terrible, but let's go on uh, with uh, other pretty classes. In, in that case, we have a wonderful result, for, uh, for example, for this uh, class, the bird, and also the boat, and many others. And so, uh, um, um, what we have done uh, after the first uh, uh, training, so we have grouped uh, the results, uh, and so we have uh, considered for checking biases uh, in the POC, the ones uh, with at least uh, uh, 100 detections per manuscript. So in order to arrive to a limited uh, sample, 75 approved manuscripts. In these 75 proof, um, approved manuscripts, uh, we have challenged ourselves uh, for uh, uh, the implementation of a script uh, uh, able to transform uh, classes and values uh, from the PyTorch result uh, into triple IF annotations. And so we have used, uh, again thanks uh, to our uh, partnership with Stanford, Annotot. So, Annotot uh, uh, is able to ingest triple uh, IF annotation contents into the spotlight uh, via the solar index. Uh, what we have done, we have uh, uh, taken into account, uh, again, the class and the values, plus uh, the canvas pertaining to the folio of, uh, uh, of the segmented images, uh, plus uh, the coordinates, uh, in order to get uh, a regular um, uh, annotation, triple IF annotation indexed uh, into our spotlight. So here, the list 
we have a, a, a machine generated list of, of canvases in Anotop. In the domain of the spotlight, uh, I mean in the te thematic pathways, uh, so uh, um, we will have uh, in our spotlight uh, as, uh, annot as uh, uh, contents pertaining to annotation, manual annotation, the 26,000 annotation produced so far, plus the automatic annotation. And you agree with me about the differences between the two. So contents uh, as a complex elaboration ideas, tags, uh, multiple classes, uh, and uh, um, the uh, uh, these multiple classes in the spotlight are also indexed according also to hierarchical um, categories uh, or also different shapes of region of annotation, so the polygons or the freeform, of course, versus the text uh, class and confidence only, rec uh, rectangular shape uh, and uh, provenances. You agree with me that bias need the uh, human check. So uh, among these uh, results, uh, among the uh, 20, uh, the 55 uh, uh, segmented objects, uh, we have chosen um, uh, to check uh, the classes pertaining to animals. And so um, um, with our intern, uh, uh, we, were, uh, we have spent uh, uh, wonderful hours uh, checking animals uh, just like this animal so it's uh, well interpreted well well interpreted and uh, uh, this elephant uh, or horse many many others uh, but what about what about this uh, this was a horse for uh, the neural network uh, this is not a horse this is pegasus so another uh, issue again focusing on the corpus uh, uh, is uh, about uh, the myth mythological uh, animals, chimeras, and so on. So it doesn't correspond this to any class in the data set, uh, as well as the other animals, uh, the typical animals coming from the, be the medieval bestiaries. So uh, uh, what, uh, uh, in conclusion, uh, um, um, we would like to consider in our proof of consent, uh, um, currently this is a phase currently uh, um, running. Of course, the harvesting of result, uh, feeding again uh, the neural network uh, our, our, uh, our, uh, um, after our checks, uh, and uh, the outputs of the proof of concept uh, to be released uh, as an exhibit on the web thematic pathways, and we will publish this on next fall. This is a this is a promise, <laughs> and uh, in this uh, um, exhibit we will have, of course, uh, neural network annotation plus metadata in Spotlight uh, annotations uh, um, without uh, any um, uh, editing or uh, uh, the classes we have uh, um, added with the knowledge of the metadata. So I think. Uh, we could share with the other, for example, with uh, our uh, uh, friends from uh, Federico Secondo and I hope other institutions, uh, a, a good uh, um, uh, starting point. Figures pertaining particularly the checking biases. So I can uh, report to you our, uh, this in this list uh, the relevant annotations, the deleted annotations because, for example, there was also teddy bears. <laughs> so it, teddy bears, of course, was deleted. And the total number of edit and revised annotations here, and the, the new classes added. The lesson learned of this uh, proof, of, of proof of concept, we had a, a I can say, a good uh, result uh, in our segmentation procedure. So the uh, algorithm capable of extracting illumination and decoration from folios and pages was good. Classes, an issue as uh, I have demonstrated so far, and the need to have a consistent uh, data set consistent with the manuscripts domain. 
And then this is, uh, I want to provoke also this audience. De Federico II is uh, with us. I mean, uh, uh, we are considering uh, um, a, perspe a perspective initiative uh, based on the, uh, perhaps our mirror on spotlight validation with the method uh, for transforming the contents of the network into the triple F annotations and asking uh, uh, in a model, we can say crowdsourcing. In, in, in many cases, uh, um, uh, I would prefer a club sourcing initiative. I mean, uh, uh, asking for experts, uh, scholars, uh, art historians, and uh, not yet uh, uh, general public uh, in order to exactly to work to, uh, together for sharing uh, a corpus uh, of, uh, um, of uh, mm, uh, classified uh, segmented uh, illuminations. So, I mean, uh, asking for a help uh, or not help, uh, sharing uh, with the others uh, the, the, the results of uh, the network, uh, asking for uh, uh, editing or adding new annotations uh, in order to run again and uh, improve the neural network detection model. And so in this uh, circle, you can see uh, the purpose uh, of this uh, proof of concept. So these are another pretty <laughs> example uh, of the birds uh, <laughs> coming from uh, a, 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 Eastern, uh, a Japanese manuscript. Uh, and with this beauty, I would like to thank you for your attention and give the floor to my colleagues, my friends, so uh, mm, uh, my questions and my invitation for sharing contents is also for the Italian community, not only the Italian ones, for everybody. Because in the end, uh, we would like to, to get uh, a method uh, uh, and putting uh, uh, this knowledge uh, in, uh, uh, let's say, open source model. Uh, the corpus, uh, this classification also plus uh, uh, what we have implemented so far in order to share for the benefit uh, of this uh, study. Thank you for your attention again. Good morning, I am Alicia Semboloni. I am uh, in charge of the Italian Digital Library and Digital Aggregator Office of the Central Institute of the Union Catalog of Italian Libraries. Uh, the project I am presenting is the result of a collective work that involved all the activity areas of the Institute under the coordination of Simonetta Butto. The Central Institute uh, for the Union Catalog of Italian Libraries, central branch of the Ministry of Culture, uh, is the coordination center of the National Library Service, SBN. Almost 7,000 libraries of different administrative and functional types, state, territorial authorities, universities, uh, adhere to the service and have been cataloging in a collaborative way since 1985 to feed the collective catalog resilient on the central system, SBN index, sharing records related to documents or authority entries. In addition to the SBN online catalog, which is the catalog of uh, the National Library Service, our institute also manages the specialized databases, which are Manus Online, the National Census of Ancient and Modern Manuscripts of the Italian Libraries. Edit 16, the National Census of 16th Century Italian Editions. The thematic database, um, 14 
18. Documents and Images of the Great War. Movio. A platform that hosts virtual exhibitions built by schools and other cultural institutions using a tool provided by ECCU. And Digital Library Internet Culturale, digital collection of the Italian libraries. In recent years, all these information systems have been completely renewed and integrated with each other to develop a general catalog, which has as its basis the SBN collective catalog, further enriched with information, data, and digital resources belonging to the other systems. The new alphabetical portal launched at the end of the 2021 enables simultaneous queries to the national databases managed by the ECCU, either from a Google-like search or through nine different thematic channels. It offers an entirely new model of information retrieval. In fact, the results are presented in a sorted way according to typological thematic categories, music, books, manuscripts, audio and video, cartography, periodical, graphics. Each one is characterized by a color and can be expandable at various analytical level. The portal navigation is designed to quickly discover library holdings highlighting the ones that feature digital reproduction with a IIIF compliant digital, the digital library service. As you can display in this uh, slide, it is uh, also possible to filter only uh, records pertaining to digital resources and get search result. The boxes highlight if there are any digitized holdings. What is, uh, what is it possible to discover on Alphabetica? For example, it is possible to query for music. In this slide, you display a manuscript music resource. Or you can listen to audio resources. From the viewer index, you can choose the title and the listen to the select song. We can also explore manuscript and ancient books. Or query for graphic and the cartographic materials. Alphabetica makes accessible about 21 million records. About 1,500,000 are records with digital resources. Uh, this slide also shows the number of digital resources Per, channel, uh, per search channel. The largest percentage is represented by the channel books, uh, graphics, audio and video, and music. Digital resources are displayed in a special section of the, the document analytical tab through the embedded Mirador viewer, uh, which allows you, uh, which allows you to explore the document and information about the object. The ECCU manifest is uh, compliant with the presentation APA 3.0 standard. The image server conformed to the IIIF image APA uh, 2.0. Images are provided by the catalog for image server. As you can display in this record, the associated descriptive met metadata are title, author, uh, editor, document type, bibliographical level, library collection, rights. The digital, rec uh, the digital resources area of the document displays a list of all the digital resources available on ECCU systems or linked to uh, the external systems. Resources from systems outside the ECCU digital ecosystem, if they don't provide the IIIF manifest, are displayed as external links in the catalog tab. 
It is possible to compare digital resources from different repositories by copying uh, AAAF manifest in the viewer. You can, save, uh, you can save searches or single bibliographic records in the user area for the purpose of sharing them online. Where does alphabetical digital come from? The digital resources AAAF compliant are those managed through cataloging in the management system made available uh, by our, our institute for libraries, which are all connected to the central repository service. The repository, as I said, is uh, um, adopting a standard AAAF image server and provides content to the central viewer. Those resources pertain to the digital the digitization projects of ECCU's partner that chose to use the Teca Digital Italiana repository service. At, at the end, those resources harvested from external repositories, content providers managed by uh, ECCU's partner, institutes that could also be external to the SGN community. In the latter two cases, the digital aggregator infrastructure generates AAAF manifests from the data available as MagMets metadata, so has to increase the number of resources AAAF compliant. Two of these resources are added to those of the libraries adding to the National Library Service. They can link digital assets held in their own repositories to the collective catalog, even those that are not AAAF compliant. At the national level, uh, the CCU uh, coordinates the broad network of the National Library Service, ensuring the shared application of cataloging uh, rules and the standards. Nevertheless, the Italian library community maintains its autonomy with regard to the cultural policy choices and the objective from the enhancement of its uh, heritage. Over the years, various digitization projects were carried out uh, by small as well as large institutions. They have been conducted independently uh, through self-managed digital repositories, generating a phenomenon of dispersion of digital resources throughout the country uh, that we call digital sub submerged. In recent years, we have launched a campaign to recover what we call uh, digital submerged. We are finally experiencing a significant reversal of this trend with a grow in request for deposit on our, on our repositories, linked centrally, uh, certainly to the birth of the alphabetical portal, which offers great uh, visibility to the cultural work of Italian libraries, but also to a revival of investments in digitization started at the national level, uh, also uh, thanks to the PNR, National Recovery and Resilience Plan. How to increase the AAAF compliant resources? ECCU in the last few years has been implementing a new cloud computing, computing tools to support the library community in this important transition to digital. One that uh, facilitates the, the increasing of AAAF compliant resources. SBM Cloud is the new open source library cataloging and management system that provides uh, an integrated AAAF compliant central digital library service, which simplifies digital metadata processes automatic generated metadata from bibliographic records in order to optimize them by unifying the workflow for uploading digital resources in the repository. Similarly, the Manus Online management system has also been involved by linking in 
uh, linking it to the same central repository service and at increasing the number of IIIF compliant uh, digitized manuscripts. Thanks to PNR funds, funds uh, there will be a significant increase of uh, IIIF compliant digitized. Two major digitization projects uh, have been launched in the sector of the library holdings. The first one involves the digitization of uh, microfilms of manuscripts from the National Center for the Study of Manuscript at the National Cent uh, Central Library in Rome. Thanks to this project, about uh, 120,000 digital contents from macro microfilms laid to manuscripts all day in one, uh, 180, uh, 180 Italian and uh, 16 foreign libraries will be uploaded to the ECCU repository through the uh, Manus Online management system. The second one, the CARTA project, coordinated by the National Central Library of Florence, uh, involves the digitization of post-unification daily newspaper published in Italy between 1861 and 1955. 2,000 Italian newspaper will be digitized. The estimated number of digital resource is 12,500,000. I think that my time is over. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your kind attention. I don't know if there's any questions on the, the panel. Um, if, if it's not, I just wanted to uh, break the ice only uh, by um, asking Paola if uh, beside uh, iconographic uh, segmentation, you also think about uh, attribution futures, for example, stylistic attribution futures. That's that's a way in a, in a, a, a kind of uh, collaboration partnership we can we can uh, do you know for just for uh, give uh, for um, segment some uh, futures in a stylistic attribution to in order to um, also detect uh, chronological and authorship on on uh, illumination which is one of the mm, problems you know in a just to attribute uh, uh, single artworks to, to uh, um, how do you say, to atelier, uh, illuminating atelier. So that, that could be a, a nice way to, to collaborate. For sure. Thank you so much, Rino, for this question because the stylistic attribution, I think, is uh, an added value for our further consideration after the segmentation and the availability of this corpus. So, of course, uh, I'm eager to work uh, also on this, on the stylistic attribution. And also, what we can say mm, after, so, mm -hmm. uh, after this um, evaluation, we can really have a pretty data lake uh, of uh, uh, information uh, on uh, uh, on our uh, illuminations, uh, on the illumination I itself, I in order also to focus also on uh, what uh, 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 is called in, in Italian, I don't know if I know the translation in English, typologie librarie, typologies, I mean, uh, such as uh, what is uh, um, um uh, in use, for example, in the in a book of hours, uh, so this is or other or, or in Bibles or in other type type of uh, um, of codices. Uh, let's say this in English. I think it makes sense. I mean that uh, 
at first uh, classes, th uh, then the um, detection exactly of uh, styles and also uh, uh, the use uh, uh, of all these uh, according to the different types of uh, box. It is uh, also another uh, um, um, study we can uh, dream. Uh. So thanks for this. Thank you very much. Paolo? Uh, hello. I also have a question for Paolo. Um, I was just uh, wondering, I mean, to which extent you use a solar engine for the for the search index? So do you ingest, like, you know, manifests to it or just the metadata that you get from the manuscript? And also I was wondering if you already experimented with uh, s using solar as a sort of uh, feeding back to the um, to the network for for helping the AI for um, to 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 understand to better understand the manuscripts that you know and, and to correct the bias so sort of in a, in a loop, um, so to speak. As for your first question, uh, if you are uh, mentioning uh, uh, the contents within uh, the spotlight. Uh, 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 we have both, I mean, uh, um, the contents of manifest, of course, uh, uh, with, uh, the, uh, with the annotations, uh, as well as uh, um, the metadata uh, coming from the OPAC, I mean, uh, a kind of synchronization. We, we used to expose uh, uh, the XML, the structure a a XML, and the this XML is interpreted and uh, uh, um, indexed uh, into the spotlight. Yes. And uh, uh, as for the second question about the use of solar, in uh, of solar, mm, solar is uh, uh, strongly related to the uh, anotot uh, flow. So uh, you have uh, well understood, I think, uh, I mean, in the cycle, we we will uh, use also it for uh, um, feeding again the the network. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you to our panel.